Hello and welcome back to another interesting video of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. In today's video, I will talk about DNA barcoding, what it is, why DNA barcoding is important, how DNA barcoding is done, and at last, some of the major applications of DNA barcoding. Before I talk about what DNA barcoding is, we need to know why it is important. Many a times, we need to identify or distinguish one species from another for certain reasons that I will discuss later in this video and several species look very similar to each other such that one cannot distinguish it that easily. And unless the right species is identified, its usage in analyzing biodiversity, breeding for crop improvement, planning conservation strategies, understanding evolutionary relationship would not be possible. To solve this problem, we have a technique called DNA barcoding. DNA barcoding is a technique used to identify and classify different species based on variation in their DNA sequences. In this, one or more region of DNA which is highly conserved among individuals within a species but show variation among different species is targeted for sequencing and to generate a DNA barcode for that species. One advantage of DNA barcoding is that it can be done with little amount of DNA extracted at any stage of organism and is sometimes even possible using dried samples. DNA barcode is short DNA sequence which serves as unique identifier for a particular species. It is just like a product barcode you find in a store. Now let's see how DNA barcoding is done. DNA barcoding involves five major steps. First, a little biological sample of an organism is collected from which the DNA is extracted. After this, utilizing a specific primer set, few hundred basis long target region of nuclear, mitochondrial or chloroplast genome is amplified using PCR. The target region chosen for PCR amplification depends upon the organism type. For example, the 16S ribosomal RNA gene is the target in bacteria. For fungi, it is the internal transcribed spacer region or ITS region. RBCL gene of chloroplast and MedK gene of mitochondrial DNA are suitable for developing DNA barcodes in plants. In animals, the segment of mitochondrial gene cytochrome C oxidase serves as the target region for developing the DNA barcode. A set of universal primers are used to amplify one or more of these target regions for PCR amplification. These primers are conserved to work in all the species of a particular taxonomic group. The amplified DNA is then purified, cloned in a vector and sequenced using sequencer to obtain the exact sequence of target barcode region. The resulting DNA sequence is compared with all the known DNA barcode sequences of all the species in an existing reference database. If the sequence is a perfect match, we identify the unknown species. If some DNA variation is found in the DNA barcode of our unknown organism, then it may be a novel species. Now let's see some of the useful applications of DNA barcoding. With DNA barcoding, one can quickly and accurately identify the species of unknown organism even if it is difficult or impossible to do so based on its morphological appearance. DNA barcoding is helpful in estimating the biodiversity, species richness, speciation and evolution by comparing the DNA barcodes across different species. DNA barcoding also has its application in conservation. Over time, distribution and existence of a particular species may change due to human interference, climate change or any other. DNA barcoding can be used to monitor changes in the distribution and abundance of different species over time. This information can be used to identify the areas that are particularly important for conservation. DNA barcoding can be used to verify the identity of food products, check if the products are properly labeled and free from contaminants and adulterants. So today we have learned what DNA barcoding is and how using a small DNA sequence we can identify, classify and characterize species and organisms for various applications. If you like the information, do not forget to share it with others. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get informed about my latest uploads. Check out my playlist on genetics, techniques, research and publishing, plant tissue culture, nutrition and health for more such interesting stuffs. Thanks and see you in my next video.